Today, we see the main indices stabilizing their prices, which is interesting because the uptrend is still valid, is still being maintained, despite some signs of weakness over here. Now, there are no obvious signs of a top, and as it turns out, there is nothing to stop our stocks from continuing to perform well. However, there are some inflection points that are critical and could put the bullish sentiment in check over here. So in today's video, we are going to look at the technical evidence governing the current price without any bias or assumption, always focusing on facts and on the strategy. If you don't know me, my name is Nathan. I'm a trader sharing my ideas and thoughts here on this channel. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel or welcome back to the Finance Hydra channel. Now, as we can see here, the SPY is stabilizing its price near Friday's high, which is good, all right? We are maintaining the short-term bullish bias, and we are also maintaining the medium-term bullish bias because we are still above the 565, one of the most important support levels for the SPY. This key point was a previous resistance level over here. It was a previous top level from July this year, the previous all-time high from July this year right now. Since we broke this key point, it was retested last Friday as a support level. What a coincidence, right? Previous all-time high, previous resistance level being tested as a support level right now. Only by losing, only by losing the 565, the SPY will start a correction on the daily chart, all right? A correction. I'm not saying it will reverse the bullish bias. I'm saying it could correct. Pullbacks are not reversals, all right? And any pullback to the 21 day EMA, the exponential moving average down here would be just plausible, acceptable, or even desirable. Because as far as I know, since it is still a bull trend, any bullish reaction near a support level could be just another buying opportunity. Because you are buying in a bull trend near a support level when the risk reward ratio is optimized. Therefore, any pullback over here is not going to be a reason for us to panic. Either way, let's keep an eye open around the 565. This is going to be the most important inflection point for the SPY in the next few days. Now, the QQQ is different because although this one is bullish, it is still maintaining the bullish bias. We are above the 21 day EMA. We are above the 576. However, we are struggling a lot. We are struggling a lot to break the 484 resistance level, which seems to be a triple top, a triple top chart pattern on the QQQ, all right? We got to break and close above the 484 as soon as possible in order to continue our bullish bias over here and materialize a next or next rally to our next resistance level, which is probably the gap resistance level over here. There is an open gap, 493. This key point is going to be our next technical target if the QQQ breaks and closes above the 484. Nathan, what if we lose the 476? What if we lose the 21 day EMA? Then we are going to enter bearish territory on the daily chart, suggesting a sharper correction on the weekly chart. Back to its support line of this ascending channel. All right. And then, and only then, we'll see if the QQQ is going to be buy again or not, if it is going to reverse, actually reverse the long-term bullish bias on the weekly chart or not. Meanwhile, our most important short and medium-term key points are 476 and the 21-day EMA, along with the resistance level around 484. Now, how this is going to affect our stocks? It's very simple. If we don't see the market or indices uh, resuming their bullish bias uh, as soon as possible, NVIDIA is not going to break its main resistance level, $120. Only by breaking this key point, NVIDIA will be free to retest higher levels like the 130 resistance level over here. Meanwhile, our most dangerous support level is 113. By losing the 113, NVIDIA could trigger a minor bearish pivot point over here, seeking 
lower levels, all right? Therefore, most important resistance level, 120. Most important support level, 113. Nathan, what about... What about the 21 day EMA over here? When, guys, when the 21 day EMA is flat, just like it's right now on, on NVIDIA, it is simply useless, all right? Moving averages, they are here to aid us to understand the main trend, all right? They work as a visual aid for us to see the trend. When it is trendless, when we see the price moving sideways, this indicator becomes totally useless all right it is not useful anymore therefore our most important key points are 120 113 we need to we need to work using indicators of course but uh we gotta understand why the indicators are here okay when you understand the indicators when you understand why they why they are used for you, you are gonna start working with more uh precision all right now concerning tesla over here Tesla is insane, all right? We are not only uh, we are not only rejecting any possibility of a top signal over here from last Friday because last Friday we did a bearish harami candlestick pattern, a technical top signal. However, this pattern wasn't triggered, all right? Always wait for the pattern to be triggered before anything else. This pattern was completely frustrated, and right now we broke our second target. $245, this gap resistance level, just like the QQQ has a gap, which is a technical target for us over here. If we break and close above the 484, Tesla also has had a technical target at this gap over here by breaking and closing above the 233. Right now, we are breaking this key point, meaning that we could, we have decent chances of retesting the next technical support level seen on the weekly chart over here 265 this is this means this only reinforces the bullish thesis on tesla right it is maintaining the bullish bias do we see any top signal in tesla no there is not a single top signal right now no obvious top signal just like there is no clear top signal on the spy just like there is no clear top signal on the qqq Therefore, we are maintaining the bullish bias with success. Sometimes you guys ask me, but Nathan, what would be a top signal for you, right? So I can use that in my favor and, uh, and uh, prepare myself, prepare myself for what's next. Well, guys, there is no, there is no easy answer, all right? There is, not, there is not a single easy, oh, this is a top signal. This is how a top signal looks like. There are many many possibilities however on the bright side i describe all of these possibilities in detail on our exclusive ebook over here which is totally free all right the vast majority of the top signals you can expect on the market they're all here on this ebook on technical analysis where i teach you the technical analysis combined with our trading philosophy it's all here including including risk management tips over here how to identify entry points and set your target and stop loss the ebook teaches the theory and you learn in practice by leaving the market day by day in our group with us us i share exclusive strategies with our members so it is free to try and this ebook over here will be yours forever so just Check out our website for more information. The link is in the video's description. It is right here below in the description. All right. Now, as we can see here, as far as I know, there is not a single top signal right now in Tesla. Friday, last Friday, we had a possible top signal, bearish Harami. However, this top signal wasn't triggered. Right now, we are insanely bullish. We are maintaining the bullish bias. And, and as far as I know, by, by maintaining the price above the $245, Tesla will remain very, very bullish. All right. If we see a top signal, great. It could materialize a pullback to our next support levels, being $233, the first one, second one, the 21 day MA, and the last one, this purple trend line in the worst case scenario. The bullish bias would maintain, uh, would still be intact, even if we see a pullback to one of these support levels I just mentioned it to you. 
All right. Therefore, these are the most important key points to monitor in Tesla from now on. Meanwhile, AMD looks very interesting. This one looks more like the QQQ than NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA has been moving sideways over here. It is uh, not that interesting. However, AMD is very close to its next resistance level, 162, which, by the way, is a technical target. It is my personal target. We, at the 5% project, at our group, we bought this bullish Harami pattern over here. We nailed this bottom signal together, and uh, right now, it is heading towards our technical target. As far as I know, as long as we don't see any meaningful major top signal or bearish reversal chart structure, everything will keep going according to our plan. However, right now, we are struggling a lot to retest our next resistance level, and this is a little bit annoying. It could be a very problematic signal, but uh, so far, we are stabilizing near our next technical target. If we break the 162, AMD would trigger a bullish pivot point on the weekly chart, and that would be just phenomenal. We could close this gap over here in sequence, 174. So let's see how this one is going to behave from here by retesting or breaking the 162. Any pullback to the 21 DMA or to the 148 could present just another buying opportunity if we see a bullish reaction around this support level. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> All right. Now, Palantir. Well, Palantir is insanely bullish. We are keep going up. There is not a single top signal. We stabilized over here last week, but uh, right now we are breaking last week's high, suggesting more bullish continuation, suggesting that we are going to retest the all-time high area, $45 up here. Since it is a bull trend, just like other stocks, any pullback to the 21 DMA or maybe even to the $33 down here could be just another buying opportunity. The trend is still bullish, the bullish bias is still valid, and we don't see any meaningful top signal here yet. And remember, if, if you want to receive daily technical analysis, unbiased analysis like this, well, then you should subscribe to this channel because I'm here every single day, keeping you guys updated on SPY, QQQ, NVIDIA, Tesla, AMD, Palantir, and other stocks. So come on, subscribe this channel and click the like button if you did enjoy this video so far. I highly appreciate your support, my dear friends. Thank you very much. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow.